Hi everyone. My talk today examines the micro-machined solid-state electrochemical carbon dioxide sensor with lithium carbonate and lithium phosphate thin films. Contents are as follows. I intend to outline two essential characteristics of the sensor. The first is surface morphology of the lithium carbonate and lithium phosphate thin films and only effect on these films. The surface morphology of the thin films can affect its electrical characteristics such as impedance and resistance so that the sensor's performance change can be happened. Therefore, investigation and analysis of the thin films are essential to understand sensor's performances. Second, characteristics of the fabricated sensor as a carbon dioxide sensor. Carbon dioxide is one of the primary greenhouse gases in Earth's atmosphere, an indicator gas of indoor air quality. So evaluation of the sensor's characteristics such as sensitivity, selectivity, and response time is crucial to use as a carbon dioxide sensor in various fields. This is the lithium phosphate thin film morphology by sputtering pressure. We changed sputtering pressure in argon atmosphere and performed scanning electron microscopy analysis. As you can see in figures, thin film deposited under condition C had less pores in comparison with other conditions. This is the lithium carbonate thin film morphology. In this case, thin film deposited under condition B showed less pores and dense surface. The fabricated thin films were annealed at 600 degrees Celsius for 2 hours and we conducted XRD analysis. After annealing, lithium phosphate showed fixed at 16.85, 22.37, 23.19 and in lithium carbonate fix were improved at 19.91 31.73 as a result only process improved the crystallinity of the films the fabrication process are as follows the fabrication process consists of 23 steps including 7 photolithography using photo mask. First, wet oxidation of 6-inch silicon wafers was conducted, and PT heater deposited on the substrate, and it was covered with silicon nitride. The lithium phosphate patterned and annealed on the heater. Gold electrodes are deposited, and lithium carbonate formed one side of the gold electrode. Xenon difluoride etch was performed to make bridge structure to reduce heat sink through the silicon substrate. Finally, dicing so cut the wafer into unit sensors. This is the principle of the carbon dioxide sensor. First, oxygen and carbon dioxide diffusion occur along the sensor surface and electrons moved from gold electrode to form carbonate ions from oxygen to carbon dioxide. Then transform of the lithium ions are occurred in the lithium phosphate to the gold lithium carbonate boundary, and lithium carbonate finally formed. Potential difference is generated followed by Nernst equation during the reaction so that the alpha voltage represents partial pressure of the carbon dioxide. The sensor's performance as a carbon dioxide sensor was evaluated our gas chamber system. As you can see in figure 2a, the sensor showed electrical signal change as a presence of the 1000 ppm of carbon dioxide. Figure 1b represents the sensitivity of the sensor. It was 7.874 volt per ppm in the range of 150 
to 1000 ppm. In figure 1c and d, the sensor can detect 5 ppm increment of carbon dioxide. And on average, the response time was 5 minutes 6 seconds. Here's the conclusions. The electrical carbon dioxide sensor was fabricated by MEMS and evaluated its performance as a carbon dioxide sensor. The sensor showed potential difference of 7.874 volts per ppm in range of 150 to 1000 ppm of carbon dioxide. The sensor can detect 5 ppm increment of carbon dioxide, and its response time was about 8 minutes. The micro-machined carbon dioxide sensor is highly selective and sensitive to carbon dioxide, and it can be manufactured in large quantities as it fabricated by MEMS fabrications. If anyone has any questions, I would be very pleased to try to answer them. Thank you.